of quite exciting times, isn't it, Jamie? We've got a uh, you've got an intern now started, uh, courtesy of Hollywood Trust and Galloway Glens. And uh, so, what will she be doing? You're right. She just started the other week there. She's got quite a varied work program. She's going to be with us for the next six months, and that includes working on the Blackwater Dee Restoration Project. She's to design an eel project covering the Dee as well. Um, and she basically assists with various other projects that Gary Fisher just have got on at the moment. Hi, I'm Abby. I'm new fisheries intern for Galloway Fisheries Trust. I'm here on a six month programme funded by the Hollywood Trust and Galloway Glens. Uh, it's a fantastic opportunity and a wonderful part of the world to work in. We've got this magnificent structure here, Clattery Shores Dam, a big landmark in the Galloway Glens area. Uh, an engineering marvel built in the 30s, but from a fish point of view, not wonderful, is it, Abby? It's not fantastic, no. This is obviously a, a huge barrier to upstream migration of fish, um, and it's actually the upstream limit for salmon on the Blackwater of Dee. Um, and it's not only a barrier to fish movement, it's also uh, a barrier to substrate movement as well downstream. So we are upstream of Classic Shores Dam, um, and here we've got a fantastic diversity of substrate. So from larger boulders and cobbles to smaller gravels and pebbles. And it's these smaller substrates that are really important for spawning of trout and salmon. Okay, I'll get some kind of spies. Let's have a look. So I just watched you uh, ratcheting about in the river, uh, doing a kick sample. So what's the purpose of that? So invertebrates are a really good way of showing water quality. Uh, they're really easy to collect and there's so many of them, so they're good to use as indicators for the water quality. So I've got a little bug here, six legs, three tails, flat body. Uh, so what's that like to be? Uh, mayfly. So all mayflies have three tails, uh, the stoneflies have two tails. We've got a lot of invertebrates here, but what sort of habitat do they require? Invertebrates like very loose substrates, so there's plenty of hiding places under the rocks and they like nice clean water and good flows. A river is a natural conveyor belt, constantly moving substrate downstream towards the sea. This means vital habitat for salmon, trout and other native fish is always being replenished. So the purpose of electric fishing um, is to enable us to get the baseline um, of the biology of the river before we conduct any work so we can get an idea of the abundance and diversity of fish within the river and enable us to work out how the river is working. So, we've caught a number of fish here, Abby. Uh, what are they? So, these are all native brown trout. This is a fry, um, which is interesting because it's really great salmon habitat here. Um, obviously, they can't travel this far upstream because of the barrier. Salmon lay their eggs in depressions in the river called reds, and they do this by digging holes in the gravel while they lay the eggs. These reds are hugely important to protect the eggs while they're developing and also for the juvenile salmons once they've hatched. So we're now downstream of Clatter and Shaw's Dam at the Otter Pool and things are looking a wee bit different here. Yeah, that's because all that lovely diverse substrate that we had upstream just isn't present here. And that's because the dam has disrupted the flow of substrate downstream. Um, and that's a real problem because all of those vital smaller substrates like the gravels and pebbles that are needed for salmon and trout spawning, they're just not here. So we wouldn't expect to find a huge amount of gravel here because of the rock shoot, but there's absolutely none. So, we found lots of investments upstream, yeah. but down here, it's not possible to even look for them really, is it? There's just nowhere down here that you could feasibly kick sample. For kick sampling, you need a lot of small substrates to disturb, and in here it's just bedrock. 
So it's fair to say that this river isn't really functioning its natural way. It's not. It's got no salmon. It's likely to have very little invertebrates. But it's a very clean river and it's got a lot of potential. Difference, isn't there, between what we saw upstream and downstream? But I guess we're about solutions, not just about problems. So, Casey, what do you need to do about this? So, surely the solution is to put more gravel in here. Yeah, the, the key issue is that there is no spawning habitat really, particularly for salmon. Um, so, if we could find a way to input some more gravel, it would be a really great opportunity. Last week I was discussing the Blackwater Dean with Abby and Casey from Galloway Fishers Trust and we were measuring on the, the, the sediment transport system in fact there's a barrier upstream and the sediment cannot longer come down this, this river and that's become a bottleneck for salmon production but very recently the Galloway Fishers Trust had a meeting with uh, Forest and Land Scotland and all the interested parties and Jamie, exciting, we've got a solution. We have, yep, we're getting started in the next few months now putting in gravel it's coming from further up the system, um, so it's within the same catchment, it's been brought down and we've got 450 tonnes going in quite soon to three different locations. Okay, so these locations are spread out and then the river will then move that gravel naturally into where it would ordinarily be, is that what will happen? That's right, so there's been quite a lot of planning up to this stage about exactly where best to go and where, where to put the, the gravel into. Um, SEPA, ourselves, uh, Forestry Land Scotland, particularly I've been involved in, in designing up this project and we've now got three locations where we plan to put in gravel and heavily monitor it and that should create some, some high quality uh, spawning beds just downstream of these locations. I can't remember if I'm wrong, this is the first time this has been attempted in Scotland, is it not? Uh, I believe so, yes. And, and we've got, the exciting thing here is we've got a whole 20 kilometres of river that could benefit from this. So this is just the, the first step. Well, watch this space. We'll monitor this program with Galloway Fishers Trust, um, bringing little clips of the work happening. This is really exciting. It's a, it's a real sort of innovative project uh, run by one of our local partners. Working with Galloway Glens and other partners, we're hoping to restore this river back to its former glory.